Welcome back to another episode of the Inquisitive Mamba podcast. This is episode 29. We have a lot to get into in today's show. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Happy Monday to all you out there, wherever you are tuning in. I have a guest named Betty Jane joining the show. Betty is going to be spilling all the tea with her conspiracy theories. And uh, I think it's time for her to introduce herself. And uh, let's get this started. Um, what's up, guys? I'm Betty Jane. You know, I'm just a drag queen out here in Los Angeles trying to, you know, figure some conspiracies out. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I think we're ready to get started and talk about these conspiracy theories because okay. they're really interesting to me. And I think more people should know about these. So uh, the floor is yours and you take it away. I just talk about whatever I want to talk about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Well, the first conspiracy theory I want to ask you about, because that one I saw, which was the, the 10 million views one, that was the TikTok one, the OJ Simpson one. Did you think that was going to hit 10 million views? It's still going. I had no idea that everybody felt the way I felt. I went, I kind of, okay. I kind of thought that people thought about it, but I didn't think anybody took it seriously. And I didn't think at all it was going to hit 10 million views. I didn't think people cared that much about what I had to say. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, okay. So where did, where did these conspiracy, you know, thoughts or theories come from? Because you know, when, when you ask somebody, you're like, oh, do you really think that? Or do you believe that? And you're like, well, why, yeah. why, why do you believe that? You know, so um, take it away. For me, um, I've always just, I always ask questions. I'm right. a question asker. So I'm always thinking, I'm always in the what if, the what if. And if things make sense to me, maybe it's delusional. But if it makes sense to me, that's my truth. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so of if course. Like, if all the signs are pointing to us, and I always wanted to be a detective, but I just never wanted to be a cop. Like I've always wanted to yeah. like do investigative work. And I've always loved like investigative series, like first 48 and like um, was of snapped and like all those shows where they talk yeah. about like crime and like the, the mm -hmm. evidence. I've always liked that. So when it came down to the OJ and Chloe thing, that was just kind of the on running joke that mm -hmm. me and my, would say to each other i was like yeah. oh that's Chloe we call him chloe daddy like that was the joke like yeah. every time OJ would like post on twitter and be mm -hmm. like making jokes about all oh, that they go chloe come get your daddy chloe come get your oh, daddy gosh. <laughs> and so and so it just i'm gonna shut off my air conditioner is it okay can you hear it no you're fine go ahead keep uh, talking okay so when it, the the opportunity came and it was like, i think it was like what's a conspiracy theory i was like what's well, the perfect time yeah. to talk about Chloe Daddy. And I think OJ is just one of those like larger than life cases where it'll never get old. Right, right. Always be people who have all these opinions on it. So I just lucked out and everybody so just... it hit it hit 10 million views. It may hit 15, it may hit 20, it may keep going. Um, yeah. Do you are you expecting to make, you know, a series out of the OJ conspiracies or are you done making that, you know, part of TikTok for o the OJ clips, basically, because I know you moved on to other conspiracy yeah. uh, theories with other, you know, notable names that people know of. So is the OJ okay. Simpson, is that done or are you going to continue that? I don't know how much further I can go with it. Like, right. I mean, I do. I still fully believe that's Chloe Daddy. I, there's mm -hmm. nothing. Anybody can tell me on this planet that can right. convince me otherwise. Um, I think his son murdered Nicole Brown Simpson. Mm -hmm. and okay, so why do you think that? Well, because the evidence is there. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, um, the, his son has diagnosed intermittent rage issues. Uh, mm -hmm. He's be abusive with his girlfriends and do knife play and do knife stuff. Yeah, it's kind of um, weird. <laughs> The night <laughs> Nicole died, she was supposed to meet up with his son and the family for a family dinner, mm -hmm. and she bailed. And instead, she went to go see Ron Goldsman at his job. And that mm -hmm. same night, she passed away, but she was murdered. So I don't know how much... I mean, I can also go into... There's like a conspiracy that there was a serial killer who was her gardener, I guess. I just learned right. this on TikTok. And yeah. I guess I can go through those things, but I've, I've kind of moved on to like other celebrity conspiracies that i could just kind of put together okay so all right so the oj simpson stuff for you is basically closed but i have one yeah. thing to ask you do you think it was all a ploy or a setup for him 
to uh, with the whole car chase thing to basically take away the attention from his son? I do. Okay. I hundred percent. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, it's not the first time that. What, what do I think? Yeah. Um, I've always been curious, obviously, about that whole situation too. Um, I do think he did. I do like your conspiracy theory, but I feel like the a lot of the evidence points to him. But then again, I can see where you're coming from. Like you know, you taking the blame for your children, obviously, because that's yeah. what parents do. I mean, you know, in most cases, I mean, on murder cases, I don't know, so, you know, but <laughs> right. Um, I do think OJ did it. Um, I just think he had a jealousy thing against Nicole uh, Brown. Yeah. Or and he in, was abusive to her. And then, you Golden, know, if they're, right. they're physically abusing you. It's not far-fetched mm-hmm. for them to, you know, murder you. And he was leaving her like wild voicemails and stuff. Like yeah. I can see either one of them doing it, to be completely honest. Honestly, and not, and not only that too, I mean, he did have one of the best defense teams in America at the time. Full so fact. He, he, he was lucky that he had lots and lots of money. I mean, now he's free and he's, you know, walking around and playing golf yeah. and going out and doing his own thing. But I just think it's crazy. There's this interview with this lady and um, she goes, OJ played a trick on me. He thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. And so he, she, okay. So she opens this door and he comes up with a knife. He goes, wee, 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 and starts laughing. Jeez, I think there's just so much more to the OJ thing that I think we'll, we're never going to know about unless he comes out and spills, but I don't think yeah. we're ever going to get it, you know? Never going to, we're never going to have the right answer. And no, I don't think anybody has the right answer. We, none of us were there. The evidence, and the evidence is so murky and there was foul play on the defense. I mean, the prosecution side, right? like, right. did plant evidence that was facts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think if the LAPD would have been more um responsible Mm -hmm. you know what i mean in a way i I, I agree with you yeah it could have been more cut and dry but because they were trying to play dirty which it was their own detriment they they like wanted Mm. to they wanted it to be oj so bad that they did everything to make sure it was oj but that backfired on them i think i think chris jenner knows more than we know i think well of course (laughs) she knows more than we know he was pillow talk yeah yeah, that that's a whole nother thing. So the next conspiracy theory person I want to ask you about, I recently saw your Marilyn Monroe conspiracy yep. with JFK. And I'm sure if you guys don't know who Marilyn Monroe is, she's one of the most famous uh, women model playboy people from the 1960s. So actress, the actress, yeah, actress, you know, back then, there was so yep. many things that went on with her. So take that away and tell us about your little conspiracy about Marilyn Monroe and why okay. she died. The, okay, so this is the let's get to the evidence, right? Let's do it. So, Pro died on December 4th, 1962, mm-hmm. and she died of a barbiturate overdose. Um, right. That's what they say. But the police didn't get there till 4 a.m. There was an ambulance around 11 p.m. that came with her psychiatrist who was seen by EMT giving her a shot of something. And she died between 9 and 10. So it's not like he gave her like adrenaline because it's between 9 and 10. She'd been dead for a couple right. of hours, for like an hour. Um, I believe, it was, and, and this more backstory, she was having an affair with both Bobby and Robert Kennedy. Yes. And she was calling the White House a lot talking a lot of crap to um oh my gosh i'm blinking what's his wife's name again jackie kennedy jackie kennedy yes telling her like you this is my man i don't care how you feel about it like my goodness he's gonna be with me like she's making obsessive phone calls at three in the morning to the white house could you imagine (laughs) could you imagine this is the white house this is not like this is like you text the, some girl from your man's phone. This heifer is calling the White House and it's yeah, like, I can man, imagine. Oh, man. Real, <laughs> Real hood behavior on Maryland's part. In the, 19, in the 1960s, too. Imagine in the, that. In the 1960s, and she's arguably one of the biggest stars in the world at this time. Yeah. So it's not like she's just some, some heifer off the street. This is right. Maryland, the hips, lips, and ass Monroe. Okay. Yeah. And she is obsessively calling the white house and the rumor is she had a little red notebook that she would write all these secrets in Mm -hmm. that both kennedys because both kennedys were pillow talkers that's not a secret they blabber mouse blabber yeah oh absolutely absolutely which got them killed ultimately got them yeah yeah oh absolutely yeah and so uh, that day the day before Marilyn was found dead Mm -hmm. bobby kennedy was seen in la 
And he told everybody he was in LA, but over 20 people said, I saw Bobby Kennedy in LA. He was in LA. So wow. he went to go see Marilyn and yeah. he told her, he told her like, chill out. It's, all of this is done. We're stopping all of this because it's gotten to a point where it's not fun anymore. You're crazy. We're done. Which I don't think is very fair. Like you cannot, you can't play with women's emotions and no. then discard them to the side. I just don't think that's fair. And if I was Brown Monroe and I had, if I had the ego that she probably had at that time, I'd be like, oh, you got me fucked up. I'm going to tell everybody <laughs> I'm going to spill the beans. And um, so then the on August, I think August 3rd, there's a voice recording between the Kennedy brothers that the CIA has. I think you can find it on YouTube. Oh, wow. And they're about how Marilyn's going to tell everything. She's going to tell. She's going to tell. She's going to tell. She's going to tell <laughs> about, about uh, Fidel Castro, about Cuba. She's going to tell. I tried to talk to her. She did not listen to me. She's going to tell. And then she died the next day. So why do you think, okay, so why do you think she, why do you think Robert Kennedy you know, or JFK spilled all that information to her. Like, why would you do that? Because they're pussy good. Oops, excuse me. Can I say that? <laughs> so sorry. Go ahead. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I think she's a beautiful woman. And I think mm -hmm. she's the type of woman who's used her femininity and sexuality to get what she needs out of men. Mm -hmm. You know, that that, makes that, sense. That's especially back then, too. Yeah, it's a tale as old as time. Look at Cleopatra. Look at Helena Troy. Look, you know what I mean? It's a tale as mm -hmm. old as time that these beautiful women and these weak ass men. You know what I mean? That is true. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, Hollywood and, you know, the fame and the limelight. I mean, it's, I mean, the 19, you're thinking yeah. we're going back to the 1960s here, too. So, yeah. I mean, technology wasn't the same, you know, I mean, calling that's on the phone. It's that's all that, you know, it's just yeah. it's weird situation. And I'm it's I'm glad that you brought that brought all this up with the conspiracy theories, because it gets people thinking of like what actually happened, you know, because I mean, at this point in the game, I think we know well enough because we do have it and we do have like technology that things that they said are not facts you know right. what i mean they're always like it's a little muddled mm -hmm. and back then like the fbi was killing everybody the fbi yeah. was oh people were just disappearing just like flicking them like flies they were like, going off like flies absolutely yeah especially at this time with jerry hoover who didn't give a damn about much he was like no. take them out take them no. out if they're a liability take them out so I do believe, but there's another theory that when I was doing my research, mm -hmm. I think Jackie Kennedy might have had something to do with it. Wow. I, I, I'm i just playing devil's advocate. I like to look at all yeah, sides. Of course. That. No, that's the best way to do it. You have to look at all sides. Yeah. I think you cannot get stuck in one theory. The best thing about conspiracy theories, you cannot get stuck in one theory. There has to be multiple theories. And what makes the most sense is usually what's the correct way. I mean, what's mm -hmm. usually correct. And I think Jackie Kennedy, who has been dealing with a philandering husband because Marilyn wasn't the only one. And there was a couple men out there too, allegedly. Yep. That's what I learned on TikTok. TikTok taught me that. <laughs> and this woman is harassing her, harassing her about her husband. And things are not going according to plan. If things are not going according to plan, something has to be rectified. So there is a part of me in my head that's like, okay, Jackie could have called somebody because she's not like a nobody. She's also blue blood. You know what I mean? She know people too. Did you ever, okay. So now we're on the Kennedys here quickly. Did you ever watch the movie Chappaquiddick or did you ever hear about the whole um, Ted Kennedy uh, thing? No. What is okay. that? Okay. So you need, you definitely need to research that and then get back Wait. to me and tell me what you think about all that. Okay. What so a long, a, so blue it's Chapp Chappaquiddick. So basically what happened was, is uh, Ted Kennedy, I think he was the, it was one of the family, mem family members of uh, Robert and, uh, JFK basically um, was involved in a DUI accident and um, killed uh, an, his passenger who was just like this girl he was seeing at the time. I forget her name and um, basically left the scene of the accident and covered it up and acting like, acted like nothing happened. Yeah. Kennedys are always doing some weird shit because don't, they had a sister who I forget her name is me. They had a sister who was just like a regular party girl. Yeah. Right, well, how, like a Paris Hilton, right? Just yeah. out here, like, her best life. But I guess you know, back then, we had to be, women had to be modest. Yep. You know, they don't and they don't have the name that they used to have, like the power that like the, they were the Kardashians of them. The Kardashians they, are them now. Definitely were, and then their dad had her lobotomized. Oh wow! Told everybody that she had mental health issues. Mm -hmm. No, that lady was fine. She was fine. 
and they have lobotomized. The Kennedys just have some weird shit going on as a well, family. They, well, they say, you know how they say the Kardashian curse and the Kennedy curse? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's weird to think about that. Like, it's it's another conspiracy theory, but yeah, it doesn't, it wouldn't put it past me, honestly. And I think down the road, eventually here, you're going to see a Kennedy, you know, run for office or run for, you know, government position yeah. or political position, because I feel like, you know, they get their name back in power. It's all, over for, <laughs> you know, I also have a conspiracy theory about the Kardashians. I've always had, I always thought there were witches and not the cool kind <laughs> with like crystals and stuff, but like the weird kind, like mm-hmm. the, like, like floating in the woods, naked. <laughs> <laughs> Which is on that. It's the it's the families. It's not like one individual person. It's like the families yeah. that always have because there's always history from previous that you start mm-hmm. to dig up and figure out and like, whoa, why did that happen or where did that happen? But yeah, no, you definitely should check out the movie Chappaquiddick. I think they did a really good job of producing it and how it all went down. So basically, he covered up um, he covered up what happened. So he was drunk driving and they went off the rails into the water and he survived and he left her. And covered it up and completely lied and said he never did. He actually showed up in court with a neck brace saying he was hurt, but he never was. And he got away with it. Ted Kennedy. Yeah. He's what? deceased. He's deceased now, but yeah. Mm-hmm. These, I'm going to do a whole series on the Kennedys. I have to. There's a they're, lot of dirt on them. They are just a weird freaking family. Nobody Ted- talks about them as much anymore, but. There's a lot on them that needs to be uncovered. And if we, yeah, if you can get a whole, careful. I'm starting to get scared. People keep telling me to like, <laughs> be careful. They're like, they're going to get you. I'm like, I'm just a live your life, girl, live your life. The truth, right. needs to be, the truth needs to come out. The truth needs to come out. You got to show, you got to show people, you got to show people up and say, and you know, and get them to believe because you never know. Some, you of, never... It could, some of it could honestly be true and you don't know what you're going to find. It's like finding gold, but <laughs> right. That's why I try to keep it like, even though they're kind of like tough cases, I try to keep them like light. Right, and right. And humorous At the same time, yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to like, sometimes that's the, it will get to me, like it'll bum me out if I think about mm-hmm. it too hard. I don't want people to think I'm like, one, I'm not an expert on shit. Like, right, right. I graduated with a theater degree. So don't think <laughs> I, I have no criminal. I didn't graduate with criminology, none of that stuff. So this is just stuff that I learned off the internet that I'm repeating back that makes sense to me. But you're making your own story out of it too, you know? And it's not like you're here to just like tell people like, hey, you need to believe me. You need to believe me, you know? So it's like you have your own opinion. And like I said, you just never know if what can not, what can come out. (laughs) You never know. And I I was actually a little worried. You know how like Hannibal Burris told those jokes about Bill Cosby and that's how all that Bill Cosby stuff happened? Yeah. Okay. I kind of felt bad. I was like, what if like OJ Simpson <laughs> arrested and I'm a Hannibal Burris of the Simpson family? I don't want any of that. I don't open don't open cases just because some dumb drag queen in LA just <laughs> made some true crime series. Don't that's why I always say allegedly, don't sue me. So okay, so this is what I have to ask you here. I'm glad you you glad you said that. What if um you know a company or anybody reaches out and says, Hey, we want to do a series with you about, you know some of your theories, would you be open to do it or no? Oh, absolutely. I would love that. I would love that. People want me to like, I keep saying like start a podcast on stuff. Like I'm starting slow. This mm-hmm. is actually a very new wheelhouse for me. Yeah. Like um, I used to a long time ago um, on my old Instagram, I used to make like videos like this, but like with pop culture and like news mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of those on TikTok. Yeah. But like this is my <laughs> first time kind of diving into like true crime like yeah no it's cool though it really is it is it's something i actually love i've always loved this stuff i just didn't know that people cared about my opinion about it <laughs> i guess no like, i mean be- well cool. if you're like you're entertaining you're funny you know you have the personality and people yeah. are wanting to listen to your voice so i don't see why not you know well thank you i appreciate yeah, that of, <laughs> of course <laughs> the, the drag queen <laughs> The drag queen, the bio queen, yes. Did you know? Okay, so now now we're on to conspiracy theories here. Did you know that the first, I think it's emperor of China, they had a whole city built for him, uh, and they uh, they discovered it, I think, a few years ago. You have to look that up. Oh, what's it's this? A, the emperor of China. Look it up. It's an emperor of China. It's a huge city they built for him. And they, and they found it. It's, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. My dad told me about it a couple of weeks ago, but it's really, really interesting. They built a whole army for him. This for himself. Yeah. 
they're made their statues basically for him like to protect him basically that is mm-hmm. so weird i know but they did it <laughs> that is so weird okay okay i, have to look I told you I t- i'm telling you there's a lot of stuff that has to be uncovered <laughs> I know I'm, I'm starting off with the more pop culture stuff. So I think I'll mm-hmm. give people's attention. I'm going to dive deep into like the real, like, like mm-hmm. stuff like this. Yes. Where it's not as like eye grabbing, but it's really interesting. But you get people thinking though, especially yes. when you open it up and you have, you know, evidence or, you know, I'm not saying evidence, but you have, you know, some sort of research and you can back it up and show people with clips and get their mind thinking like, whoa, what actually happened then? You get people start thinking and it's like, Oof. <laughs> everything just starts seeping out <laughs> right exactly exactly um but i'm gonna start doing more stuff like that like i really want to get more into like true crime that's personal like mm-hmm. um like actual like uh murders that happen like the kid next door and stuff like that but that's after i finish my celebrity series i think i'll wrap the celebrity series up with Aaliyah, which i'm gonna do in a couple of days and mm-hmm. then after that I'll start doing more like uh like murder mysteries and stuff like that yeah okay so we, we, we talked that. about we talked about Mar- Mar- marilyn monroe a little bit about her uh jfk the oj simpson case mm-hmm. and, and you know that conspiracy chloe kardashian are there any other are the kardashian family and the kennedy family obviously yeah and you got to check out the chapaquitic stuff is there anything else that you think uh you would bring to uh, the surface right now? Well, I just did Brittany Murphy. Mm-hmm. I saw that briefly. I just did the Brittany Murphy one. And um, that one, I, I knew, I knew it'd be interesting because I knew that how the, how her mom and her Brittany's widowed husband mm-hmm. were dating after weird. she died. Really Which weird. Was, that's that's gross really really gross and weird and uncomfortable one thing it's one thing to be like oh grief brought us together but it's another thing to move into this lady's house and she's only been there for five months like i, I could see it's been like a year two years and they just been around each other you know what i mean i could even like excuse that yeah but that's what me out about the naya rivera stuff right mm-hmm. now, i don't think naya rivera was murdered i think that lake people just be dying at that lake that's just oh the oh okay okay from glee yeah. From Glee, Naira Bear from Glee, right? People Santana. were devastated when that happened. Yeah, I was so sad. Like, I didn't yeah, think oh, I was of course, of course. For music, I was like, oh fuck, I started crying. Mm-hmm. But um, Naira Rivera, you know, she passed away. She drowned and she tried to save her son. Her son is, thank God, he's okay. Right. Um, but Naya's sister moved into her house mm-hmm. with her baby's father, and they're raising their kid to Naya's kid together, like stuff like that. It's really it's weird. Just, it's really weird to me. It does make you think and it does make you wonder, like, but yeah, at the same time, grief does bring people together. But in Brittany Murphy's case, no, the mama, the mama killed her. Allegedly, but jeez. So. And I, I don't I don't know. There's just something about everything being, you know, uncovered and this and that. And all right, so I got I, to wrap up the show, I like to ask a few questions. But before I ask okay. these few questions, there's one that you definitely know about the Tupac, okay. the Tupac Biggie thing. What do you think about that? I think the LAPD and the NYPD killed uh, Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur. I wow. do think Tupac. Or I think I do think Tupac's dead. I do not think he's in Cuba. I have to do more research yeah. on it. People really, like dig dive deep into it, but I'm my gut is telling me that that's just yeah. He's what definitely it is. he's definitely dead. Yeah, I do think that the the police had a lot to do with it. I a I, lot I, I, I agree. It. I think there's a lot of. Uh, mystery around that one as well they they, they, they have, uh, what'd you I say diddy, i think diddy had a lot to do with it too wow Whew. i you ever heard game of thrones yes okay so diddy is like the little finger of hip-hop like mm-hmm. where he's like always in the shadows you know it's something very mischievous but he's very like charismatic and big smile and mm-hmm. rather love but there's something there's something under the surface that's a little ominous to me with a lot of people in the hollywood and the uh celebrity industry <laughs> yeah i feel exactly. like we'll just never know i i just we'll I, I just know. don't think we ever will and all right never so anything no. i'm never gonna get back to the net all this stuff they're never gonna invite me to nothing they gonna know i'm gonna say it on my tiktok <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey well you know what you're uncovering stuff that some people have never you know thought of or wanted to talk about yeah. and 
you have the courage and, you know, the, the confidence to be comfortable talking about it. You know, you, you put the research and the time in, so go take I it, do. take it and run with it. You know, you know there's, we always need people like that. You always need detectives. You say what? You, we always need detectives. You always have to, you know, keep pushing for more and more. Absolutely. Alrighty. So to wrap up the show, I like to ask a few questions. My first question for you is on a, a lighter note, who's your favorite artist, rapper, musician, like, your go-to person you love to listen to? Uh, my favorite musician, it changes all the time. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's forever Beyonce, forever Beyonce. But right now I'm listening to a lot of Frank Ocean and Tyler Crater. Okay, That's so, a- be, okay, Beyonce. I'm just going to go off of Beyonce here. <laughs> favorite song of Beyonce. You got the ox, your friend gives it to Kitty you, cat. or you're jamming in the shower. Morning. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Okay, all right. Kitty cat. All right, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Uh, you haven't Bali. been to. Uh, Bali. Bali. Okay. And why Bali? It's just so beautiful and simplistic. And I'm just, a, I'm just a daughter of the earth. And I just like to be barefoot with waterfalls and eat mangoes off the tree. Like that's just, <laughs> here it is, you know, I'm very yeah. like earthy and it mm-hmm. just looks beautiful. It looks just so beautiful. I've never been, but from the way you uh, described it, I would love to go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All right. Number four, your favorite fast food place. Oh, McDonald's. I All love right, go this. to go to meal. Oh, chicken nuggets. And I get the I get chicken nuggets and I put them in my air fryer. I get oh, really yeah. Good. And I put the buffalo sauce on them and I mm-hmm. shake it up like buffalo chicken nuggets. OK. All right. So McDonald's go to is chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. OK. All right. My last question for you. Is there any famous people that you would if you could have a conversation with one dead or alive? Who would it be? Dead or alive. Yeah. Uh, James Baldwin. James Baldwin. He is, uh, he's just an activist and a writer. But like, oh, like, they, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Pop culture, dead or alive, like real, like celebrity stuff. Michael yeah. Jackson, I would love to talk to Michael Jackson. I mm-hmm. want to know what the F is going on in that head of his. I <laughs> want to know so bad. I would love to know the psychology Me behind too. the method in his madness. There is method in that madness. There's method. There's, there's reasons. I don't think he does anything on purpose. I mean, on accident. You know what I mean? Right. One of those people that's like, the wheels are always turning. The wheels are and always I, churning. They're always turning. I would love to just like sit and just let him talk about his whole childhood to, I mean, he's been famous since he was eight. You know I what know, I mean? I know. I know. Just like all of it. I just, he just seems like the most interesting person in the entire world to me. Going to gone too soon no i agree with you michael jackson was one of a kind one of a kind like i have people like oh so and so is the next michael jackson there are people who are mm-hmm. similar in like tone and like artistry mm-hmm. but there will never be another michael jackson on this planet ever nope. ever 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 again i don't no. think so either so you don't have any more conspiracy theories i asked you all your questions um you gave us a little bit about uh you your favorite fast food place to mcdonald's yes. obviously throwing those in the air fryer um, dead or alive it's michael jackson what's your go-to michael jackson song uh oh god it's um the, the way you make me feel oh yeah yeah yeah. okay the way you make me feel yeah 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 <laughs> all righty so um I, we're gonna wrap up the show here give a round of applause for coming on the inquisitive mamba podcast yeah you did you did great you did awesome thank you thank yes. you for having me i really enjoyed it have me again i'd love to come again Yes, of course. If you have any uh, new conspiracy theories, you know, send those over and uh, we'll set something up again. Uh, okay. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we're on Google Podcasts now. We're on Apple Podcasts as well. We're on Spotify. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to say thank you to Anchor for allowing me to put my podcast on there and sponsor this. Um, until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Thank you. Bye.